Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken today. Well, let's just say you might dress up as a cow for cow is it cow appreciation day? Yep, Chick-fil-A cow appreciation day. Yes, for Chick-fil-A. Or we could serve it up to you on a silver platter because Twinkies are back to the marketplace. And meanwhile, we're gonna bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Mm. Well I well I get Yeah, and Twinkies are back. Yeah, and in honor of Twinkies being back and the Michelle Obama being pissed off about the Twinkie, we've added a new member to Monty's family, Mr. Twinkie. As it, <laughs> as it, as it was put out this morning, I would never, le never let my children eat these unhealthy items, and I wouldn't recommend that anyone eat something that's unhealthy for you. And guess what that did with Twinkie cells this morning? Yippee! Everybody that dislikes the Obamas Yay! would buy some. Remember, people, you want to piss off Michelle Obama, eat a french fry. Woo, you Twinkies are back. Yay. Yay. Mr. Twinkie. <laughs> Mr. Twinkie has a lot to say today before he gets eight. <laughs> Actually, we can leave Mr. Twinkie out, and this we can use him forever because... Everyone knows that a Twinkie never goes away. They have a. They, uh, they've actually said that they can survive a nuclear attack. A Twinkie. I see them on MythBusters trying to break the Twinkie myth, and no, basically they don't absorb radiation. They do nothing. They will be there. Uh, remember on uh, Zombie Land or something with Woody Harrelson and his Twinkies, and he said a Twinkie can survive a nuclear attack. Certainly, there will be Twinkies available. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Twinkies are like spam. And another day, another Boeing mishap. Okay, I'm going to explain something. Okay, I'm, I'm a pilot. I learned to fly by wire. The modern pilots are learning to fly by com computer, which means you have to have batteries that were never actually designed to be used in an airplane, being used in an airplane, and they get hot. We can guarantee you because, um, okay, the other day we were at the beach and our lithium battery in our, in our brand new camera was overheating. The camera was getting warm from shooting. Imagine a, compu uh, a, a 787 ran by computers and the prop strain it must be putting on those batteries. Well, I know my cell phone even gets hot from running the GPS. Yes, right. For the, well, for the navigation. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, because that's what they said this morning. The Republicans are not obeying the will of the people. Well, Bill O'Reilly said it's over. And he simply said that the Republicans are not giving the Latinos what they want. But I'm, I'm going to try to explain something in simple terms, which you can respond. Would, to get voters, would the Democrats give up abortion rights? <laughs> Never going to happen, is it? To get voters, to get Republican voters, and, and would... The Democrats give up the black vote. <laughs> no, because we, Democrats will hold firm to their convictions. Well, Bill O'Reilly says, you know, that uh, that they should simply cave in to what the Democrats want to get votes. That the, they're going to here's are going to put it simple again. Uh, this is a Mr. Twinkie says, if you had this many Twinkies before you decided to get uh, vote on the on the immigration issue. And you have this many Twinkies after you vote on the immigration issue. It doesn't make any difference. If you vote, you basically get the same amount of Twinkies the day after you voted, except you lose your base. Oh, is that why Obama warns Republicans that they had better agree with him, or the people will turn against them? Yeah, because that's what he says, pure and simple. The, the Latinos will not support you. Well, they're not supporting you now. Here's a good one. The Latinos support Republican candidates in areas they like the Republican candidate. They vote the candidate, and they're never going to vote. Uh, okay, everybody that's basically strong abortion rights and strong gay rights is never going to get a vote from a Latino. Period. It doesn't make any difference if they're the socialists. They're not going. They got. They vote. They. You know how they do? They like conservative Republicans. They sit on their hands rather than vote if they don't like the issue, what's being done. So. And the U.S. budget surplus highest since Bill Clinton was in office in June. Okay, they, um, they're they already, even some of the Democrats, I wonder, how the, did that happen? He said, we're spending, we, we have no, but the money, you cannot have a surplus if every month's spending is higher than you're bringing in. It is math, and he said, well, it's Obama math. You know, actually, it's the same thing. If you have one Twinkie, and you eat that Twinkie, you can't have one, they can't have the same one Twinkie. But he comes up with Twinkies that are not there. Uh -huh. 
And Democrats proved there was no targeting of conservatives by the IRS. I know they said it was a they said it was a conservative in the Treasury Department that was out to get the Democrats. Uh, well, no, the IRS has already admitted there was a problem, and three of their people have taken a Fifth Amendment over it, and they've already got testimony of the fact that not people in Cincinnati, but like 19, 19 offices, including the one in uh, in D.C. But there was no targeting. Also, in fact, only Republicans were targeted, no Democrats. Hmm. And lawmakers urge a retest of missile defense system. Uh, because they know that Obama has done something to it. They want it tested, again, to make certain that, okay, what he's done is Obama is basically, even though he doesn't have the authority to do it, is basically canceling programs that are needed to make other programs work. So therefore, you know, like his latest scam, build a windmill in, in front of the uh, pipeline, the Keystone Pipeline, and because it's a green project, it will therefore stop the pipeline in the court system. Mm. And Kremlin security agency to buy typewriters to avoid leaks. Isn't that something? In order to stop the the, the, the bugging of everything, they're now going to go back to paper again, which you hand from one person to another person. And you have, it's if they don't allow cell phones and this stuff in their insecurity areas, you're never going to be able to take a picture of the secret documents. Now, isn't that great? In a, in a modern world, in order to have security, you have to go backwards. Ooh, I love this. We're going to buy typewriters. Yeah. <laughs> Do they still have typewriters? <laughs> no. I, mean, I was going to say, they, they're going to have to. They, they, they're going to have to. Uh, I, mean, I would assume in Europe you can still get your hands on typewriters, but I would guess that typewriters are going to become very popular again in areas that security is important. Mm -hmm. Not the electronic ones. Electronic ones could be but old manual typewriters. I have one in storage, so. I oh, that's funny. Um, clean water tap. CPA urges the Midwest to drink bottled water, not tap. You believe that? That they're, they're, uh, they're, they're doing a clean water e tax? EPA wants the bottles to be, wants you to give up on bottled water, and at the same time, wanting you to drink bottled water so they can tax it to amount, have clean water. It's an oxymoron. It's, the, it's how Democrats work in their mindset. Don't drink that bottled water. Drink all the bottled water you can. Don't drink that bottled water. We're going to tax the bottled water. Don't drink that bottled water. Drink all the bottled water you can. That's a Democrat at work. That, that's a, a worthy one for discussion. Yeah. Um, um, cat licensing creeping closer. You can't license a cat because nobody owns a cat. <laughs> Cats come and go. Well, nobody owns cats. And Microsoft's restructuring signals urgency. Yeah, it means the parts of the company are in a total state of... Okay, what happened with Windows 8 was a massive disaster. The, the Windows Phone is a massive disaster. And the Surface is a massive disaster. What they did was give you a, 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 a tablet that 50% of your internal memory goes to make the thing work. Mm -hmm. And it's too expensive. But... It's like when we saw it, it's phenomenal. It's just that it's how they no, use we, memory. We would, we would love to I have love it. a big one. But the big one, you have to walk around with a cruddy uh, pocket hard drive in order to store your material on. And I'm guessing it's probably a slow upload and a slow load to that tap, the, the drive. Mm -hmm. And climate change causing energy disruptions. Not really. The Democrats will say it is. What's causing energy disruptions is the fact that China... Is going. China's economy is collapsing. If the China economy collapses, they're not buying as much oil. Ooh! And San Francisco crash crew told passengers to stay in the aircraft. Well, it's probably the right thing to do because they don't. They have to deploy everything before it can be done. You can't go jumping off the plane. They know that at least one person that was on the ground was killed by the rescue people, which is why they tried to... They were make, killed by the rescue yeah, people? Yeah, they drove over them because they didn't know that the back... They, were the, the, they didn't know that they were on the ground already, so they were drove over and killed, so it's bigger litigations coming. Oh, my God. One of the two that was killed was ran over, and they think the other one may have been... Oh, my gosh. Awesome. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh -huh. The best way to make certain that a product is going to succeed is to have somebody publicly condemn it.